Hello Internet, hello guys. Today I will be showing the build and setup of my Genmitsu ZNC. In a former video I talked about my decision making process that led me to my choice. I ended up choosing the Genmitsu 4030 CNC and I also showed the unboxing of my CNC. You can find the link to the video right here. Today I'm going to the build and setup steps following the Genmitsu manual. You can find the manual along with all other software resources that come with the machine on the Gen Genmitsu support page. I include a link in the video description. This video is not a tutorial in any case. It's just a demonstration how I did the build of my CNC machine. Please read the manual carefully that comes with the machine and follow the Genmitsu instructions. Okay, let's start with the video. In the manual you find a detailed list of all parts, screws and accessories that come with the device. Take a look at it and make sure that you have received everything. We will start with the base unit, take the assembly out of the package and inspect it. Use a 90 degree ruler to check the base is square. Alternatively, and I think the better solution is to use a ruler or folding rule to measure the diagonals of the mounting frame from one corner to the opposite corner and if both diagonals are the same length, the frame is square. In my case, the frame was not exactly square and I had to correct it. To do this, I loosened the screws of the frame and tightened a package belt around the frame. If you put a little more pressure on one of the corners, you can change the alignment of the machine frame. When the adjustment fits, then tighten the screws again and you're fine. Next attach the flexible couplings to each lead screw of the wire axis. To do this, loosen the small set screws to make sure the lead screw is fully seated in it. Then tighten the screws to secure the lead screw mounting and proceed to assemble the y-axis motors. Now is a good time to once again tighten the screws of the frame. Optionally, you can also use screw locking glue such as Loctite or others. When selecting the adhesive, make sure the screws can be loosened again. We can continue to mount the stepper motors with the motor mounts. Make sure that the open side of the motor mount is not facing down when you install the uh, stepper motor. Align the screw holes of the bracket and motor and screw them onto the mounting frame as described in the instructions. See page 11 for more details. To give the entire mounting frame more stability, we can now install the MDF spoil board. To do this, position the MDF spoil board on the assembly base and align it with the screw holes on the front and back of the machine. Make sure you refer to page 13 in the manual to get the correct side up. Tighten the plate with the screws provided and to complete the base assembly attach the dust shields to the side of the storage tray and align it with the screw holes. Mm -hmm. 
Now we need to prepare the x-axis gantry. The first step is to install the coupling, the motor and the motor mount in the same way we did it with the y-axis motors. Start with the flexible coupling and install it on the x-axis spindle. Be sure to loosen the grub screws so that the shaft is fully seated. Now you can install the stepper motor with the motor mount. Check the position of the bracket. It must face to the back of the gantry with the opening. Also pay attention to the position of the motor and the cable. I decided to let the cable direct down instead in the direction of the router. In my eyes it makes more sense because of the cable movement in combination with the drag chain later on. We position the limiter at the back of the spindle carriage and install the bracket. Now it is time to mount the X gantry with the base assembly. To do this, position the X axis gantry on the Y axis carriage mounts and use the acrylic plates for positioning. Make sure that you attach the spring washers correctly to prevent the x-axis gantry screws from loosening. Check that the stepper motors can be moved smoothly in the x and y axis direction by using the wheels on the stepper motors. Now let's take a look at the cable management and install the track chain. This is quite simple, you can find detailed instructions in the manual on page 21-22. Align the sliding blocks on the bracket and fasten the bracket with the screws. Now you can install the track chain on the X gantry. Make sure that the track chain runs under the limiter of the x-axis. To complete the setup we can now install the y-axis track chain on the back of the machine, attach the bracket with allen screws and mount the bracket to the carriage with allen screws. Position the track chain using the screws provided. Make sure that the side with the Dean compression fitting for the spindle leads to the control box. As the last part of the setup we have to wire the electronics, connect the Z-axis limit switches to the cable whip and wire the spindle. Connect the stepper motor for the Z-axis and wire the stepper motors for the Y-axis to complete the setup. Now we can continue connecting the control box. Please have a look on to the voltage switch so that you have the correct settings for your country. Now we can use the wiring diagram in the manual to connect all the wires from the cable whip to the CNC controller.
Finally, we can assemble the set probe connector and connect it to the control box. I also use the offline controller and therefore I connect the offline controller to the control box. That's all. With everything in place we have completed the hardware assembly part. Now we can do our first checks running the machine. If you have the offline controller you can directly move the router in different directions using the controller. You can also start a spindle or doing a Z-Pro. If you are using a PC or laptop, you have to use a CNC controller software like Candle or Universal G-Code Sender to control the CNC. Install the provided USB serial driver before you connect to the CNC controller via the provided USB cable. Check also the support page for the latest information and the installation instructions. I will add a um, link to the support page in the video description. After you installed the driver, connect the CNC controller and your computer using the USB cable that's part of the delivery. All the software is on the USB stick that comes with the machine and it's also on the Genmitsu support page. See the link in the description. With everything in place you're good to go for your first CNC runs. There are some Reddit use CNC programs on the USB stick that comes with the Genmitsu CNC. Okay. That's it more or less for today. If you want to see the machine in action, I add a link to one of my last videos with the Chenmitsu 430 here. I hope this video was interesting for you or helps you with your projects. If so, leave a like, that motivates me to make more content. Let me know if there is anything you want to ask and add it in the comment section. Is there any video content around the topic CNC machining you want to see or understand? Let me know. I'm currently working on some design tasks with different software packages in combination with CNC machining. But this is content of some of the next videos. So therefore, as usual, if you want to join the journey, subscribe to my channel, have a good time, stay safe and thanks for watching.